and welcome to Hot Ones Legacy Edition. We are your hosts, Grace and Emma. On today's episode, we have Mrs. Benarowitz and Mr. Arjo. Now here's how this works. We have a series of questions to help you get to know our teachers better. As the questions get juicier, the wings get spicier. Get your milk wet ready, Ms. Benarowitz and Mr. Arjo. It's, it's time, time for you to be in the hot seat. seat. <laughs> Round one, first question. How many pillows do you sleep with? How many pillows? Let's see. One. One pillow. So, um. I used to be a two pillow person, but we went and got new pillows and the guy swore I only needed one. So I sleep with one. How many pillows do you have on your bed? Two. No throw pillows? No, I made sure I take them all out. <laughs> they were annoying me. Um, I sleep with four pillows. Wow. But I also have a 70 pound Doberman Great Pyrenees mix who likes the pillows too. Plus an additional one, two, three, four, five, six throw pillows. How many pillows do you No, I don't need any pillows. You have all of them. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite school event? My favorite school event? I think it's probably prom. Um, because usually we dress up. Mm -hmm. Sensitive subject. <laughs> I know. I Sorry. hope it happens. I don't know if it will, but... Um, yeah, I think that one's definitely the best because we get to dress up and we get to see everyone having fun. Yeah, my, probably my favorite prom had to be the Alice in Wonderland because, fun fact, everybody recognized Mr. Arco as the Mad Hatter and I was just a scary queen of hearts. Nobody recognized me until I started talking and they're like, yeah, the door went. Like, Hi! Yeah, I, I agree. Prom is definitely um, one of the faves. Um, I will say what something I was not aware of it was nearly as fun as it is um, prom fashion show mm. That was that was pretty entertaining. Okay, describe yourself in five words. How about I describe him and he describes yeah. me? Yeah, well, that's, that's good. good. That's mm. good. Okay. Yeah, I, I need to count on my fingers. Too. Okay, right? not, not a math person. Why don't we go back and forth one on one? Oh, just adjectives. Just adjectives. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Adjective noun combinations, I think would be totally fine. Fair, fair. Okay. So, so you can nerdy. even do some some uh, gerund and stuff. We are so out. nerdy. Okay. <laughs> Number one, old man. That's fair. That's fair. Do you want to comment on that? Or do you want to just leave it there? Uh, okay. Um, well, I had something else there. Now I have to move on from it because I just want to retaliate to that question. Uh, loud. I'm gonna go with loud. That's I think that one definitely fits. Mm hmm. Mm. Lazy. <laughs> Insulting. Like, when are we gonna have the good parts of my personality come out? Um. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go with. This is multiple. I'm cheating. Fun to work with. That's four. I'm Aww. done. Yeah, we're good. We're good as a team. Mm -hmm. AP Lit, yeah. take it. AP Lit, totally take Ms. it. Miss Norman, yes. too. Mm -hmm. If she was here, she would be on this. All right, so I said old man and lazy. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Um, I would also then add mm, committed to his students. That's it. That's it. You're over. Oh. That's six. Well, I am, I am older, so <laughs> I believe I get that as an You're an English teacher, not a math teacher. Well, exactly. Thank, Fair you. Enough. thank you. Thank you. What is your go-to song for singing in the shower? And sing a little bit of it. Oh, I got this. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, you go for it. Sorry! Not sorry! <laughs> Love me some Demi. Oh, it's so good. I actually listened to that on my way to the <laughs> Okay, I don't understand why this is what I sing in the shower, but for whatever reason, I only sing the part where it's like, I went skydiving, I went rocking mountain climbing, whatever song it is. I don't even know the full song, but that's what I end up singing in the shower. I think um, we're a little bit lost on what song. Can you perform for us? I, I cannot, <laughs> um, because I refuse wholeheartedly to perform in public. Disappointed, but it's yeah. okay. That's fine, you can be disappointed, but I think it's, Al is it Alan Jackson? I don't even know. I don't even know what song you're referring to. <laughs> Me Hence either. why the performance is necessary. It's not. What would you do if you had one million dollars to spend on absolutely anything? Easy. Easy. This is not going to be a fun answer. Mm, nope. I'm investing in retiring. <laughs> I could easily live off of one million dollars. Okay, first you pay off the house. 
then you take the rest of it and you put it into investments and then I don't have to work anymore. Not like I don't love this job, but you can't say that you wouldn't love doing nothing over working. So I'm definitely retiring. So I'm gonna do the uh, very popular adulting thing. I'm gonna pay off my house. I'm gonna pay for my kids for college. I'm gonna then take a look at what else is around. Oh, I'm getting a new car. That is happening. Mm, the 2005 good. Tahoe. Yes, new car. Um, and then yeah, I'll probably squirrel some away. Retirement. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Like, uh, donate to a good charity. Like, hello, that would be a good thing. Maybe I'll buy a first edition of Great Expectations. Oh. <laughs> Not making your money back on that one. Yeah, you just gotta wait long enough. Okay. Um, what is your favorite memory from working at Legacy? Uh, let's see. I think it was as, as hard as it's to say it was last year when I got to uh, give the graduation speech. Uh, I think that was definitely, it was cool because that, that was my first freshman class and then I was able to give their speech when they were seniors, even though it was a sad ending and all of you seniors this year, I apologize, you guys are having it just as bad. Uh, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. But um, I think that was a lot of fun for me, and it, it kind of made me feel connected to the school the most. So I'm going with that one. Um, I'm actually going to go with one from last year as well. Um, reading names at graduation, doing eight hours of reading names at graduation, as much as that may not sound like the like most enjoyable piece. Uh, don't get me wrong, graduation speech, that's fantastic. Done that as well, and that's been an amazing experience. But sitting there and reading people's names and going through and seeing parents be so excited that their kids were able to have this moment and the connection and there was one one kid whose name was wrong on the form that I was reading and it was great you know why because we just brought him back and we just did it again and we refilmed it was fantastic and everybody it was just such a positive experience and a great example of Legacy Strong, which has been something that we have held on to ever since the bus crash and, and through then, and it's just another example, just the 2020 edition. Yeah, and seniors this year, we're not gonna forget about you. Don't uh -huh. worry about that. Mm -hmm. um, if things continue to be shut down, we'll make sure you guys get something special too. So Absolutely. We, uh, we are aware that this year is maybe worse for you even than last year because you have had nothing that's the same. At least they had one semester, so. They did. Have you had any milk yet? No. I don't want to take any because I got my dirty hands. <laughs> what is the craziest thing that has ever happened to you while teaching? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a couple. I've been teaching a lot longer than Mr. Arca. This is your 26 for me. I've got, oh. You go first. I, I, I'm trying to think. We were reading. The sun also rises. Oh, that's, a, that's what we're reading right and, now. Yeah, right. and we were having a class discussion, and it was we were going through, and everybody was super excited, and we're chatting. And I said, "All right, talk to me. What does the character Jake Barnes say when Robert Cohn gets in his face in the big fiesta at Pamplona?" And Jordan points right at me. She says, "Go to hell, Mrs. B." And I went, "You're right." That is exactly what he says. And then it became the, remember when Miss, when Jordan told Miss B to go to H-E double hockey sticks? I'm gonna have to bleep that out, just saying. So when I was a student teacher, I, I soon taught with Miss B. That's why we work so well together. Um, and well, among other things, but apart from her being a good teacher, these are pretty hot. These, these are, are pretty hot, I'm yeah. I'm definitely <laughs> feeling it in my, I'm just like, it's not running down my nose right now. Um, but a, a student, had some sort of tweet about the school drama and they mentioned it was a fire tweet. So I like him in the front of the room and I hear this and I'm like, I gotta figure out what's going on. So I run over there, not to like reprimand them from using their phone or anything, but I just wanna know what the fire tweet was about. And it was some girl who was in our class broke up with another person who was in a different class all through Twitter. Not very crazy, but I was interested. I wanted to retweet it, but I didn't. Okay, two more questions. Great. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I might have to have some milk here. Yeah, these ones are spicy. These ones are like, woo! Yeah. Breaking a sweat. Good yep. <laughs> thing you have that, that sweatband. Yeah, 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 yeah thank you, Buffalo. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> coming in clutch with a sweatband. So, this one's getting deep here. Okay. Where would you hide a body? Oh, easy. Easy. <laughs> so, uh, you, know, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, you go ahead. Okay, so. What we, um, if you've ever gone on this secret tour, 
of Legacy High School. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gonna hide you... it at the school? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Nobody's okay. gonna find it down that HVAC area. Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> so you go down, downstairs, whew, by the like, lower, oh, these are impressive, <laughs> by uh, lower G hallway and there's these doors and you go in and it looks, it's big enough, it's basically the entire school. We could put a pool down there, no problem. That's what I heard it was for. That's a lie. It's not for a pool. It's There's no for pool bodies. area. All the HVAC systems down there. And I think that would be a really easy spot. It's nice and dry. Nothing's going to, you know, decompose in a nasty way. But Miss Caldwell might disagree with me on that one. And, uh, yeah, that would be an easy spot to hide in. I feel like to truly hide a body, you know, it's going to get a little gross here. And, and I do listen to a lot of serial killer podcasts. <laughs> And so I, I feel like the people who get away with it the most, they're not suspects right away. And then they hide it somewhere remote, but also like pieces. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you would have to like somehow find a secure place to dismember the body and then hide it in different areas so they couldn't link it together. To really well, that's just like the trail. Telltale Heart. It's well, just no. like Telltale Heart. So you'd have to no. get in the bathtub and dismember exactly. it. And then, you know. In the multiple know. places. And yeah. then the floorboards, yeah. right? Because if you find a fully entire body, if science looks so good, you're going to get caught. It's got to be in different places. Okay. okay. So different remote areas. Thank you for the insight. You guys I really like really that thought you know, through. No, so <laughs> what is something that students do that completely irritates you? Oh, this is easy. <laughs> they think that I don't know when they're lying. So like, oh yeah, my printer is not working. Or, oh, I didn't do my homework for this reason. Like, just tell me you didn't do your homework. Like, I don't understand why we have to make up some elaborate story about this, that, and the other. Like, just say you forgot. Yeah. Because it's never, the printer isn't working. There's like a million different ways. Or I couldn't get in to turn it in.com. Yeah, you could. You were just late. So that's mine. I, I think, like, I understand that some things come up. Just tell me you didn't get it done, and you'll turn it in tomorrow or tonight. That's mine. No, I, I actually have to agree with you. That is by far the biggest piece. Is life happens, um, you're allowed to be human is a big piece. And owning that, and that's part of being a responsible human being. You know, yeah, don't lie. I, I will take... Well, it's just like silly lies. Like, I know that's not what happened. <laughs> Like I too was in high school once. Like I know you're still doing it. Not that long ago. <laughs> it was at least ten years. Oh. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Arcot, does everybody know what high school you went to? I think everyone at this point knows yep. what high school I went to. <laughs> we don't need to talk about it. You see my legacy here? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm yeah. at now. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Do you guys believe the the lies on Zoom? You know, like oh my internet isn't working. I Sometimes they're not lies. Once in a while, that once one's not a lie. No, when I keep seeing people pop up in the waiting room, like I get it. I've had like a couple of kids in my class who just won't answer when the teacher calls on them. They're like, sorry, my mic wasn't working. <laughs> you better be blowing up that chat. Just saying. Yeah, it's like you wait a few, few minutes, you say their name like three times. Sorry, my mic isn't working in chat. Why don't you just answer my question in chat instead of saying my mic isn't working? <laughs> True. It's just fine. And with that spicy ending, we conclude this episode of Hot Ones Legacy Edition. A huge thank you to our special guests, Ms. Benarowitz and Mr. Arco, and also to Buffalo Wild Wings for their delicious contributions. Wishing you health, happiness, and a whole lot of heat. See you next time, Bulls.